we're looking back even even just 10 years, um, you know, there was still that novelty element to it, right? Where 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 people the excitement of being able to watch their favorite artist live was enough that they might put up with some quality issues and some buffering that they they certainly wouldn't put up with today. Uh, oh hell no! Right? Yeah, no. Um, if you drop a frame, you you drop twenty people. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. So so you know things are a lot less forgiving today than they were um, ten years ago or or even five years ago, and you know, as you're talking here about, you know, this vision you had um, when you first, when you did your first streamed concert of maybe being able to travel less in the future. Um, and there's trade-offs and we'll talk a little bit about those trade-offs, but obviously, you know, that became the name of the game in 2020 when no one traveled anywhere. Right. So the entire industry, both the music industry and the streaming industry, um, you know, really tackled these problems uh, head on out of necessity. Um, but w- what are the biggest challenges that you have faced in delivering your streams the way you want to deliver them? Are they mostly technological? Yeah, a hundred percent. Um, they're, they're even, they're even mostly like even just behind the camera lens stuff, you know, mm-hmm. like w- what you're filming. Sure. I, I can sit in this chair and I can pop open, you know, a few computers in front of me and, and jam out, you know what I mean? But then, mm-hmm. You know, the the one interesting thing would be, okay, we're going to have multicam and I'm going to mm-hmm. have a switcher and then it's going to switch and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, that gets boring after five minutes. Um, you know, it's, it's like, I, I, I'm a big fan of Twitch, not, mm-hmm. not the company, not their tech. It's mm-hmm. like, it's dog shit, it, but mm-hmm. it works and it's fine. But I, I go through and I look at how everybody's either doing the same things or who's innovating, who's, who's got this really great setup for control where it's, they don't have an operator and they've got like autonomous systems all running on their own where they've got their own like follow cams and switchers and Mm -hmm. all this various stuff. And there's like two or three names I could actually drop that are really fucking pushing stuff. There's this guy called the sushi dragon. Mm -hmm. This kid is, you got to look him up. He's, He's mentally insane. Um, I, I think he's definitely certifiable, but he's got this warehouse out in the middle of butt fuck man, Montana mm-hmm. and just every new gadget, every new little handheld toy, every kind of like IP camera or, or whatever, or follow camera robot. He's just built this huge playpen and he does live editing, live streaming, and he uses all this like, you know, all these peripheral technology and software technology like Touch Designer and all this stuff to mm-hmm. to really do these great live edits and, you know, he works on mobile packs and all this stuff. So he's 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 the the Richard Divine of the the streaming world, you know. He's just got like every little doodad and gadget and stuff like that and uh and then there are other guys like um uh jeez, what's his name? Uh SOA. Um, God, he's he's a musician. He's in his studio and he's just got like, you know, MIDI controllers up the mm-hmm. up the ass for, you know, when he's doing camera switching and stuff like that. So it's I I'm I'm cruising on Twitch and I'm yeah and I'm finding all these characters, you know, using all these different techs. And you know, you can't just like take them all and say, okay, I gotta get one of each. You know, mm-hmm. you just gotta kind of find what works for you and your shtick and stuff like that. Uh, so it's it's kind of about like the setting up the delivery method first, you know, getting the local content. I don't care if you're doing 4K, 1080p, whatever. And then once you've got that figured out, then I guess you would have to kind of worry about, you know, the, the delegation from that output to everybody else. Mm-hmm. And then that's where, you know, the codec, the streaming, the, you know, the ingest and the servers and the client replication comes in. <laughs> 